Hello, Alex. Welcome on board. How does it feel to join your new club? Hello. Um, yeah, it feels very good, very exciting. Um, it's a new challenge for me, new country, new league. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what that's like and adapting as quick as possible. Um, and yeah, achieving some good things here. How does it feel to grow up as a son of a professional football player? Uh, it's good. Um, it was a long time ago now he was yeah. a professional, so um, I was only young. But of course, with that, I had um, a lot of good experience. Um, he was like a, my mentor, obviously, and a very good mentor. He, he'd achieved what I wanted to achieve. So from a young age, um, I was brought up in, in the right way to, to achieve my goals. Um, and luckily, up to now, it paid off. So I'm very fortunate for that. At times, it's difficult because he was very strict on me with um, what I needed to do, how I needed to do it. The standards were very high. Um, but of course, that makes makes you who you are. So I'm lucky for that. Uh, was there a specific event that made you discover your passion for football? Um, not particularly. I don't think there was a specific moment. Um, it was more just being from a football family. Um, I think every every child likes to follow in their dad's footsteps, and they look up to their father and. Um, he's like their hero. So for me, he was a footballer. And at the time, I, I was lucky to see him in that environment and everything that came with it. And that really became my passion. And um, yeah, I wanted to follow what he did. And um, I think that was all I can say for, for that. I can't remember a specific one moment. It was more just a, an upbringing. Yeah. Uh, you lifted the UEFA Super Cup trophy in the stadium. It would be great if you could share your feelings when you step onto the pitch here for the last time. Yeah, I remember that night well. Um, that's obviously a really good night for us uh, at the time. Played a good Chelsea, Chelsea side. Um, and yeah, it was, it's a competition you don't always get to play in. Uh, so yeah, it was a really good night um, and we enjoyed it a lot. So that was, that was actually the last time I was, I was in Istanbul. So. It's been a while since then, but no, it'd be um, great to, to, to have those same feelings, but for Besiktas uh, lifting trophies for sure. How would you describe your playing position on the field? Um, I'd say I'm, um, I'm a central midfielder, more attacking minded. Um, I had to do a lot of roles in midfield at my time at Liverpool, so um, I can play a bit deeper if, if needed, but my passion or where I feel I'm the best is picking up the ball in attacking positions, driving forward, driving through midfield, shooting from outside the box, um, setting up the forwards um, whilst I'm on the run, playing through passes. Uh, and I can play out wide as well. Obviously, I came came through as a winger, played seven, six, six years at Arsenal, mostly as a winger. Um, and I did it as well at Liverpool from time to time. So, yeah, anywhere in attack, but more from a midfield position. I like to come from deep. Um, I'd say that's what you can expect from me. Yeah. Did you reach to anyone to gather more information about the club after receiving a transfer offer from Besiktas? Yeah, I spoke to Nathan Redmond. Um, I know him well and uh, he's helped me a lot, especially this last week. I've asked him a lot of questions and uh, he's helped me a lot. Um, yeah, he, he had a lot of good things to say. I can remember at the time last season seeing seeing him do well um, and seeing some videos he posted on Instagram and you know every now and again on live live score which is like the app we can check all the scores from the different leagues I used to follow him and see what he was doing so um, yeah mostly Nathan um, Loris as well obviously I knew from Liverpool um, so I spoke to him um, and a few other guys as well um, that you know have experience of living in the city and, and playing in, out here in Turkey so yeah, I spoke to them and heard good things. What are your goals for upcoming season with Besiktas? I think the main thing is to, to win things. Um, I think to carry on for me, I'd want to finish my career from now to the end, winning as many trophies as I can. So I think coming to a club like this, um, it's a big club. And I think the goal has to be for everyone to, to want to win, win the championship. Um, on an individual level, it's the same for me. Um, and of course, that starts with you know integrating with the team, getting getting to know my teammates, um, listening to the new coach, see what see what he wants from me, and adapting to that. Um, and yeah, as, playing as much as I can, as many games, and 
scoring goals and um, just being able to help my teammates to achieve the main goal, which for all of us has to be to win. Yeah. You have played against Cenk Tosun, Artur Masuaku, Getson Fernandez and Dana Marti in the Premier League in recent years. Now you will be playing alongside them on the same team. How do you feel about this? Yeah, it's good. Obviously, they're all very good players. Um, so, yeah, like you said, I've played them all. I um, think it hopefully it should help me as well because they, they know where I've come from and, you know, the league that I've come from. So hopefully they'll be able to help me settle in and, and adapt to, to life here. Um, give me some, you know, advice on, you know, the differences in the leagues and uh, the areas that maybe I can do well in and, um, and some areas that I maybe need to be aware of. I don't know what it's like out here with the fouls, referees, you know, different contact it's, it's different. So they could help me with stuff like that. Um, but yeah, of course, playing with good players at a big club is, um, is what you, what you want to do. So yeah, I look forward to, to seeing them all, um, getting to know them all better and more importantly, playing with them and playing some good football. Yeah. Why did you choose number 15? I don't think there was many numbers available <laughs> yeah. for, for, for starters. <laughs> Um, and 15 is the number. Luckily, that was available. That's the number I had at Arsenal uh, and Liverpool. So, uh, yeah, I carried carried that on as soon as I knew that that number was available. Um, it made sense for me to take that number. What can Besiktas fans expect from you? I think, as I, as I said, I think a yeah. player that tries to, to excite. Um, whenever I get the ball, I, I try and move forward. Um, I try and move towards the goal and make something happen, um, whether that's shooting or a bit of dribbling and um, yeah, trying to create for the team, um, be as exciting as possible, but also work hard for the team and give my all uh, for the team 100%, whether that's not just the attacking, the defending as well. But I think from a footballing point of view, it's yeah, dribbling with the ball, driving forward, shooting, um, hopefully scoring some goals. Um, and yeah, maybe bringing a bit of that experience as well that I have um, over the last 12 years playing where I've played. So I think, yeah, the main thing is the effort and the work rate. I think 100% you can expect that from me. Lastly, do you have a message for our beloved fans? I think I just did. <laughs> um, thank you for, for welcoming everything, everyone so far. Um, that I've seen around the city. It's been very, very welcoming. Um, and yeah, I think I hope, hopefully I can make them proud and make them happy to achieve all of our goals. Um, and that'll be the main thing. I think for now, I make sure that I get, get involved in the team as quickly as possible, um, settle down and, and make sure I'm ready to, to play the best football. I think that's the best way I can repay them. Um, I've seen the support, I've heard about the support. So that's my job to make sure that I help the team uh, make them happy and yeah. Thank you for having me up to now. Hopefully we can have a really good year together. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I need you also to rate my English, okay? Because I see, I see the people just commenting on my English. Yeah. So they are saying you can't even speak uh, barely English. So <laughs> since we have an Englishman right here, so I just want to ask, how would you rate my English on a scale of 10? On a scale of 10, the people <laughs> behind you are trying to kill you. Be honest, man. Be honest, man. I think I give you seven, eight. It's good. Yeah. I understand everything you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Because I will write this one. On it's my not an CV. English accent yet. Yeah. But it's a good accent. Uh, seven. I give you seven. It's better than my Turkish yeah. for sure. <laughs> I can write this one on my CV. So I think it's a good. It's a good opportunity to no, you, for sure. you say this one. So no. do you want any Turkish words? Do you do you, do you uh, remember anything? I forgot them all now. I, I yeah. learned a few already. Thank you. Is it Tashikula? Tish, yeah. Yeah? Cool. There was another one. Nessus. What's that one? How are you? Or how are you doing? Nessusun. Oh, Nessusun. Yeah. That's it, Nessusun. I'm going to have to take some lessons for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's it for now. And any Turkish, any Turkish food? A kebab, obviously. <sighs> I probably had a lot yeah. over the years. Um, the meat here is really good. Really good. This week I've already seen the, the meat's really good. Um, I had the Turkish eggs as well. Uh, I can't remember the name now. Begins with an M, maybe? Yeah. Um, 
It was good. The scrambled eggs. Are yeah, it was like scrambled eggs and tomato. Yeah, it's manaman. Manaman, that's yeah. it. Begins with an M, yeah. It's the favorite food of the night in Redmond. Yeah? <laughs> do they do that for breakfast here? Yeah, he oh, likes it so I'll much. I'll be good, I'll be good. But yeah, that's all I've tried so far. So one more thing, one last thing. Do you want to read this one? You want me to read that? Yeah. I can't read that. Why? In the accent, you want the accent, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. 2,000 years later. A bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it better for you, yeah. bottle of water. But how I'd say it to my friends, yeah. bottle of water. <laughs> and thank you, that, that's all, thank you.